Okay, so this is what I replaced. So here's our new ranch quad slash toy. I've actually had it for a year and a half. It's my nephew's and it needed a carburetor and a fuel shut off valve. And I kind of just parked it and forgot about it. So I finally put a new, new carburetor New fuel shut off on it, air cleaner, and intake manifold. And that's a Zoom Zoom carburetor. The whole thing was really cheap, really easy to install. And this thing runs great, it runs like it's brand new. It's a 125, and it's got a CVT. So it does have forward and reverse. This thing's a ton of fun. This thing's definitely going to be in lots of videos coming up. It seems like it's the perfect size as far as engine and everything. It feels like it's about the perfect size for running around the racetrack. It's just like it was made for it. This is the original Makuni carburetor, and this is the original fuel shutoff valve, and this is the original intake manifold, which is made of rubber. That's why you replace these every so often, because they eventually will develop a leak. It was real easy. It took me about 45 minutes to put all of it on, and honestly, the carburetor from Zoom Zoom it came out of the box adjusted exactly the same as this previous carburetor. Everything just went right in, bolted right up. It just was super easy. I really can't say enough. Highly recommend Zoom Zoom carburetors if you've got a small motorcycle or ATV or something and you're needing a carburetor for it. Zoom Zoom is the one to go with. I'm going to go ahead and save the original Makuni carburetor. Never know. Always good to have things for a backup. And the Zoom Zoom carburetor is basically a clone of the Makuni. I'm going on the e-bike ride, except for I'm going the lazy way. I'm taking the new quad. <laughs> I don't like your quad. I, I don't have an e-bike, so this is my e-bike. <laughs> And it looks like a collection of the usual e-bikes with the giant high handlebars. <laughs> and all different brands. Yeah. I don't all I still different. don't understand why they make the bars so high. Alright, here we go.
Touchdown! So real quick, I thought I would do a quick tour around Osh's camp and show everybody who's here. I haven't done that yet on my channel. Uh, today's the last day and some people are leaving this morning, so. We got Eric here. Nomadic fanatic. This is my friend Donnie. And if you can see it there, that's his three-wheeler. There's gonna be a video of that coming up too. Colleen's rig. And there's Ghislaine's rig. It's my friend Jake. Came down from Utah. You're gonna be seeing a lot more Jake soon. Here's Bex, her rig. Her channel is Bex Cat Herder. She's got some great videos. You should go check it out. She really does have some great videos. She's got a really unique editing style. This blue Van Dan. If you haven't checked out his channel, you should. It's Blue Van Dan. And here's Ken and Janet. And in the minivan, Malin and Donna. And her channel, she has a channel, Shalom on the Rome. Check her videos out. Joel's bus, custom built. I haven't seen the inside of it, but from what I've heard, it's spectacular. Candy and Susan, hopefully I'm not waking them up. <laughs> and there's Bob and his daughter Deborah. They stayed this summer out at Rady's property with him. Here's Nicole and Michael. Try not to wake anybody up. Although it is almost 8 o'clock. <laughs> Here's Butterfly. Her channel is Butterfly Gypsy, if you haven't checked it out. Good morning, Jason. Hey, I, I'll, I'll cut you out if you don't want. I'm just filming everybody's rigs. <laughs> Here's Dory and her Class A. It's the first time I have seen it, it's really nice. Winnebago makes a good rig. And there's our friend Jennifer. Nobody stayed in uh, Panda this, this season. Not yet, at least. Well, I just got it fixed up really nice. It's like a little mini hotel room. Minivan that's Mike, Mike, Mike. Or sometimes I call them Alabama Mike. And right there is Amy and her sister Sue. Rig right there. Little van is Michelle. And Mary came down from Washington again. And of course, my brother, Brady. And for those of you who have never seen this rig before, this is Scott and Terry's new fifth wheel. For those of you on my channel who don't know who Scott and Terry are, their channel name is Destination Open Road, and they have some great videos, great travel videos. This is their new rig. This is making me and Sue think that we need to get a big, giant fifth wheel. It's just, it's so much more of a house than the Class A. I mean, the Class A has a lot to it, but man, those things are like a real house. And this is their Dodge truck for pulling if anybody's wondering Scotty's got the, the big motor in it and it's a stick shift so it tugs like nobody's business so Carolyn's been camped up here next to my scrapyard it's like a cul-de-sac because it's part of the racetrack this is Carolyn RV rebel girl if any of you haven't checked out her channel before you should she's got a lot of really cool videos and she travels a lot of places Carolyn moves a lot. In fact, she's leaving today. Yeah, we're hanging the head of today. <laughs> but this has been her camp spot up here. This is actually, I'll do a quick pan around. Morning, Come here, Scout. Come on, stay over here with me. Hey, hey, hey. I know, you want to see Danny. I know. Yeah, see, Scout met Danny when she was a tiny puppy, and she. this is one of the little dogs that she loves. No, you can't check out her. No, no. Come on. You can't go in there. Okay. Baby girl. It's okay, you, babe. 
You are a mess. Come on, go up, Come on. Come here. So this right here has been, so this right here has been Carolyn's camp spot. And this has been her view with the mountain and everything. Beautiful. So this is a great spot. So I might eventually make some improvements here and make it a permanent camp spot. You know, eventually I'd like to gravel the roads and everything. So I've got lots and lots of time for that.